Ime Yudoka. Do you remember him? He is the uh, Boston Celtic coach who was placed in suspension for slanging the dingling in one of the big boys' wives. Well, well, the Nets, the Nets are finalizing a deal to hire him. He was the assistant coach before he went to Boston Celtics. And so now they are finalizing a deal to, to hire him because uh, like so many people in the sports world saying, the Boston Celtics, they're not going to rehire him. They're probably just going to let his contract run out so they don't have to pay him all, all the money that they owe him. Shout out to his name just let me, Lord Jesus, shameful. He did say, and I'm going to find that video. Uh, he did say, let me get his name, Stephen A. Smith. He did say, this was this was when this all happened, that the Nets was going to uh, pick up uh, email. Hold on, let me close my blinds. Sun is in my eyes. So, I want, it's a, it's a little bit old because this happened last week, but I've just been busy with Love is Blind. A matter of fact, I woke up. I was busy when I wake up, so I didn't get to do Love is Blind this month, but I'll do it later today. Uh, so I want to know what you think. I want to talk about this because you have angry, I'm not even going to show her, angry feminist, black man hating Malika Andrews, hating on this man because he's getting another job. Are you kidding me? I could understand, I could understand if he assaulted the woman. No, he had sex sex like many of these other men are doing who's in the sports world okay and yes he broke the code of conduct for sleeping with someone who works underneath him and he has paid the price of losing his job his name being dragged through the mud so i don't know how much more accountability he needs all right so i want to know what y'all think about this uh it's monday I'm tired from yesterday. Love is blind. I'm going to come back later and give you episode 10. And then we're going to go live tonight and talk about Married at First Sight and Love is Blind. Okay. I'm going to try to do both of them at one time. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Share this out if you can. Thank you for your love and support. I absolutely adore you. So uh, this is ESPN, and it says the Nets are finalizing deal to hire Ime Udoka as head coach. Uh, the the Brooklyn, uh, this is by Andrew, what's his name? The Brooklyn Nets are finalizing a deal to hire suspended Boston Celtics coach Ime Udoka and formal, and a formal agreement is expected soon, sources told ESPN. After parting with uh, Coach Steve Nash, the Nets are bringing back U Udoka to try and salvage a reeling uh, franchise amid turmoil and a two to six start to the season. Boston is not requiring draft compensation from Brooklyn to hire uh, Udoka. Of course, they're not because they're getting rid of him. They're getting rid of him. It's not going to cost them, but it's going to cost him. But there are discussions that are taking place before a deal can be finalized, source to set. The Nets, who have lost six of eight games to start the season after Tuesday night's 108-99 loss to the Bulls, will keep assistant Jacques Vaughn as the acting head coach until Udoko can start the job. Um, Boston suspended Udoko for 2022-2023 season for an improper relationship with subordinate before training camp, but sources say the Celtics never planned to stand in the way of Udoka accepting another coaching job. Right, because they're not going to lose no money. They're going to get rid of him, and they don't have to come out of their pockets. Udoka was an assistant for one season under Nash in 2021 before becoming the Celtics coach and leading them to the NBA Finals. Last season, Udoka has a long history with Nets general manager Sean Marks, dating back to them working together with the San Antonio Spurs. The Nets have been vetting the circumstances around Yudoka's suspension and believe he can tighten up the league's 29th ranked defensive team and command leadership in a difficult locker room. 
sources said you don't spend a season with Ben Simmons, a player. Uh, the Nets are desperately trying to get back on track on the Philadelphia 79ers coaching staff in 2019. The independent law firm probe into Udoka found that he used crude language in his dialogue with a female subordinate before the start of an improper workplace relationship with the woman, an element that significantly factored into severity of his suspension versus total ESPN in September. Those investigating fines which describe verbiage in Udoka's part that was deemed especially concerning coming from a workplace superior, contributed to what was unlikely pathway to his reinstatement as a Celtic coach in 2023. The power dynamics associated with superior improper relations with the staff member was the primary finding and policy violation cited in the law firm's report, which was commissioned by the Celtics and uh, compelled in September. Make sure you watch my... Um, my videos on this, I I just think he put the he put that thing he put that thing in 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 that Becky honey he put the thing in the Becky Becky trying to save her marriage and she's gonna blame it on him. Thank God we need to praise Becky. Thank God Becky didn't accuse him of assault, okay? Because we know Becky's have accused many of our brothers of assault when it wasn't a fall assault. She just wanted some of that mandingo, and so this hater feminist hater, angry black woman, black man hater, Malika Andrews is mad that the boss, that, that, that the Nets want to hire him and talk about accountability. And I'm like, accountability for what? He lost his job. His name is dragged through the mud. We will never forget what he did. And you want accountability for what? Get your little angry, hating, black, angry, hating, black man, hating, feminists behind, shut up. They're over there at ESPN trying to please you because you're a feminist, hating, black man, hater, ma'am. Shut up. Sit your little behind down somewhere and leave the man. Do you not want the man to get another job so he can provide for himself and his family? People have sex. <laughs> okay. And then, then somebody sent me a video. I can't think of his name now. There's another guy at ESPN that says, uh, we know her name, his name, we don't know her name. She, the man hating, black man hating Malika Andrews, is going to snitch on her to ESPN. Then right back after commercial, he had to come and 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 uh, apologize because he slept with uh, somebody underneath him. It's not like it was grape. They had sex. If anybody who is at fault is the married woman, and granted, yes, 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 code of conduct. But as far as I'm concerned, he has already paid the price. It's time for us to move on. And this is his second chance to get it right. And I hope he gets into counseling and whatever. You know how I feel. He ain't got no ring on his finger. He ain't signed no papers to be faithful for Nia. Nia is the fool for staying there with the man for 12 years, child. Nia is 10 years a girlfriend. And of course, you know, I just feel bad for the blue boy and the name drag through the mud and stuff like that. But other than that, she's 10 years a girlfriend. She's the one sitting there with him. And I was supposed to come back and do a video how she was uh, a big niche. She basically build him up and pay and um, have him to move in with him and all this stuff. So people have sex. So hopefully at the nets, he will get it together. He will not sleep with people underneath him. He ain't married. He can slang that big old black dangling wherever he wants. He wanted that mandingo. Okay. He can swing that mandingo wherever he wanted because he in there. Just don't swing it in nobody you work for, sir. And at this age, you shouldn't be swinging it either. You need to go ahead and get married. You have a little boy that you need to be an example for to teach him to say, this is how you live your life. Don't go out here swinging and dangling. If he was 25, I could understand. But at 45, 50, sir, you're supposed to have that thing in control. That thing is not supposed to be leading you around. You're supposed to be leading it around and having self-control. 
And, and men, those of you in authority and power, let me tell you, the devil, the Bible says the devil come as a roaring lion seeking, seeking whom he may devour. So that means the devil is not, and the devil in a dress is not able to devour anybody. That means if the devil is devouring you, you are capable of being devoured. So whatever your weakness is, sirs, you need to work on it. Because there are these women out here who will come after you and pursue you and run you down because the devil know that Kitty is your weakness. And so you got to get control over your dingling, sir, so it does not destroy your whole name. When you say Bill Clinton, what you remember? Hmm, Bill Clinton, blue dress in the oval. It wasn't in the oval. Please tell me it wasn't in the oval. You know, just disrespectful. So let me know what you think. I've, to me, he's paid his price. He didn't grape the woman hating, black man hating, feminist hating, angry black woman, Malika Andrews. You talk about accountability. He had sex. <laughs> sex. He lost his job. His good name is messed up. The Bible says a good name is to be treasured. He can never come back from have a, having a, a, a bad name no more. So I don't know what kind of accountability you angry and black man, woman talking about. I just don't understand. Leave that man alone. They need to fire you from, they want a black woman, uh, feminist hating black man over there to tear, drag the black men down. Talk about accountability. Why would you not want this man to get a job so that he can provide for himself and his family? Can he get any other job? And this is another thing. I this you know I'm trying. I was trying not to say anything, but this is another thing, right? So then after they fired the Boston email, she went after the other coach who is who is the assistant coach. So oh, when he was in college, he did this. He was accused of this. Are you kidding me? You you need to look in the mirror and see that something is wrong with you, ma'am. You need to go to counseling. You're probably mad at your daddy for not taking care of you or whatever. You need to go to counseling and see what is it in you that caused you to be hating black men that you need to be dragging them down and going in his past. Here is this man is the assistant coach and you gonna go back to when he was 18 years old to say, oh, he was accused of this? Are you kidding me? Anyways, let me go. Lexi has, uh, has to go back to the dentist this morning. You know, this stuff just get me fired up. But anyways, y'all, um, I'm gonna come back later and do love is blind. Let me give you a word from the Lord. I got last, I was praying last night and, uh, you know, thank you for this day. Thank you for my family. Thank you for bringing Mike home. Thank you that Mike doesn't have the cold. And thank you that we are fine. Thank you for providing food and clothes and shelter. Thank you for a home. Right. And you know, you're just thanking God before you go to bed. And so the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, I want you to pray in tongues for the next 30 days. You know what that means? There is a breakthrough. Ah, that's coming. Hallelujah. There is a breakthrough that's coming for me, baby. So I'm just sharing it with you so you can catch it in the spirit too. Because I've been talking to the Lord about some things. I said, uh-uh, that ain't right. That's not right. That needs to change. This needs to be fixed. Uh-uh, I don't like that. Okay? I, I, some stuff has been held up for me, y'all. And Holy Spirit said, I want you to pray in tongues for the next 30 days. So I'm just sharing that with you, girl. So if you don't listen to the end of the video, the video, you didn't hear this word. I'm just sharing it with you. Maybe you can catch it in the spirit and do the same for you to get a breakthrough in your life. I got to go. Come on back later. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.